Hello YouTube, this is Bruno. Now, if you think about perimeter farms, then maybe you think about a slime farm. Or you think creeper farm, which is turned off right now. Or maybe a raid farm. But one farm that should really be in any perimeter is a black ink farm. And this farm is actually super simple to build. It's just a bit of portal spam. Let's turn on hitboxes. So what you do is you just alternate portal slices and water filled slices and any squid that will spawn in here will be teleported pretty much directly to the nether into the kill chamber. And since squid will start swimming they will touch a portal frame very soon after spawning. So they're very quickly eliminated from the mob cap. And let's use mini hut to show the biome borders. So this is a river biome. So basically you can see that I just chose a part of the river and filled it with these portals. Let's jump to the world download and look at the nether side. The squids come out of the portal and the easiest way to kill them is just by fall damage. Drop them something like 15 blocks. And the rates are pretty good, almost 30,000 items, which is over three times hopper speed. This means it's already rather difficult to collect the items using hoppers here. This is why I use a minecart eater. The minecart eater is by Inspector Talon uh, and it's a nether item eater that is really nice. The items just drop in there onto a slime pusher and then into a storage array where I use item filters to make sure that no rotten flesh or something ends up in here. This is all very easy to build and the minecarts allow you to have the storage a bit further away. However, keep in mind that only a 3x3 chunk area is loaded centered on this portal here. So in this case we have built a sorter in the chunks that are loaded, but don't build them too far away or use a chunk loader to load the chunks. Now here's an alternative kill chamber that you could use if for some reason you can't build a portal high in the sky, which was actually the case in my perimeter, because otherwise the portal would interfere with the creeper farm or with the slime farm, so I had to build a portal lower. And there I just used soul campfires to kill the squids. And I also put in a bit of powder snow to kill any zombified piglins that might spawn in the portal. So this is all very simple and you can see that the mob cap is half full. So you could increase the rates a bit more by adding more spawning spaces, but probably not a ton. So I figure maybe 35,000 items per hour, but that's already quite a lot of black ink. And here, back on my survival server, I had to fit in the portal with the storage for my quarry. And I was AFK for one night. And you see that I already have a ton of shaker boxes here. I'm probably good with black ink for a year or so. And building the overworld site took just half an hour or so. All you need is enough obsidian. So you start by building the outer walls. You alternate obsidian and any building block. Make sure that you respect the maximum size of the portals, 21 blocks on the inside, and the height is given by the spawning restrictions of the squids. So the lowest blocks are at y equals 49, the highest blocks are at y equals 64. And then you first add the roof for the portal blocks and add a layer of ice one block lower between the portal blocks. Light the portals and it doesn't matter if you first place the ice and then light the portals or if you first light the portals and then place the ice. And then the easiest thing is to close the spaces between the upper obsidian blocks using lighting blocks. So you could use shroom lights, you could use sea lanterns, here I use frog lights. And they will cause all of the ice to melt. So this will generate falling water between the portals and squid can spawn in falling water, so this is fine. The nether side is a standard kill chamber. I did make a tutorial for that a while ago, I will link it in the description. So it's quite a nice farm. If you have a perimeter, I would absolutely recommend to build it. Now actually, you don't have to use a perimeter to build this type of farm. In survival, all you have to do is to find the right AFK spot and the right river biome, which can take a bit of time. So here, I found the case where this is all river biome. So I built the portals here. Here you can see the spawning sphere. And wherever the spawning sphere intersected with water, I cleared out the water. It wasn't a lot. So basically all you have to do is to find a river that makes a bend and then you just find the right AFK spot 
I did a tutorial on that in the past, I will link it in the description as well. But the bottom line is, in the perimeter it takes 30 minutes to build such a spawning area. And without a perimeter it will take a bit longer, because you have to clear water. The time really depends on how good a river biome you find for that. The rates will be not as high, because you usually have less spawning spaces, but they will still be pretty good. This little farm here already gives 20,000 insects per hour. So yeah, I'm good on black ink. I can craft all of the black concrete, terracotta and prismarine that I want. So I'm quite happy. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you want to see more videos like this. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And see you next time. Bye bye.